Now, this is the Science Channel, and this goes back to um, 2017. Here's how geological blueberries were created on Earth and Mars. So, that, and I, that's what the kind of stuff I study. And again, this is the Science Channel. Now, here we go. It's very short. It's only 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Here it goes. Here. When they say sandstone, that is primarily skin and the outer layer of tissue. These interstitium balls, they're not, they, they didn't concrete all by themselves. They are part of the fleshy tissue that surrounds you. That's where your, why your skin can go one way and come back to the other way. Now, it also coats lungs and hearts and kidneys and everything then is separated from another layer has these balls because you have to come back to where you were before that's how your body re uh, you know comes back to where it was you can see it these this is exactly what interstitching is it's all of these balls and normally you'd be able to pull the skin this way and that way and then it would all come back well it's eroded through that down to below this is what's called a basement layer and I have all right when she says has to be this and has to be that let's take a quick look I say it has to be biology okay my friends let's just start it right here the Martian blueberries spherules they call them they're round blueberries hematite spherules and they're in, found here it says are small roughly spherical pebbles rich in an iron oxide which they're gray and they're hematite which is Fe202 or, or O3, and are found at Meridian Planum, a large plain on Mars, mind the boggling large numbers. Well, they're found here for the same reason in the same numbers. So they're on Mars and on Earth because they are biological. <laughs> I'm just telling you, that's a fact. And here's what they look like inside. They have this brown core and surrounded by this hematite ring which makes them harder than hell and they implant in your body and then they stretch and pull and here's some Moki marbles right here and Tyson Carlson who a good friend of mine has a location he's studying right now it's all they're all over the place and there are different types there's these kind here that have this ring around them which is like a, a, a a layer that sticks out around them so they really get locked in place and then they have these other ones that are just round little spherical ones the little spherical ones like these right here are interstitium balls these are the very fine little balls and then the big heavy duty ones like these are in your shoulders and and they're, they're the real heavy duty implants okay this is just a slap of reality these are the Moki marbles, and they're all over the earth. There's, they're just everywhere, these, these little balls. They're everywhere, literally everywhere. And people have just ignored them because they don't know what to think of them. And they're huge, giant little ones. They're all over. This is in England somewhere, in the United Kingdom, and um, Huntington's Beach, I believe. And you see this right here? This is skin. That's skin. And that is the mucosa, um, uh, well, this is the mucosa, the skin. This is the interstitium right below. This is exactly what you have here. It's identical, no difference whatsoever. That is the mucosa, that is the interstitium, and the balls are all in inlaid in here so that when you stretch and move, you can come back. The earth was a living creature. The earth was a living creature. Even Jesus Christ said it. He said the earth is a corpse and a body. It was at one time living. And these balls are these small. You see this? You see that little bullet right there, that little bullet? That's pointing to this spot. That is this spot, that little tiny spot. And you can see all these balls. You, you need a magma, you know, an electron microscope to see these. And they embed in all your tissues. All right? They're all over the place. And they are in space and all over Earth as well. See this? This is exactly the same thing. This is the Mars Morse code. I can't explain this either. These are the tendon balls. These are the straps. This is where the skin is pulled, and here's where it's gathered. It's been eroded because it's been sandblasted. That's what Mars is like. Mars has very little moisture to to make clay and so forth. It pretty much makes dried out little particles. That is interstitium, just not eroded as much as the blueberries. 